So today we are gonna be doing a tune-up on my Ram. I need to change the oil, the filter, and 16 spark plugs. Because if y'all know, these have 16 in them. I did the oil change like a month ago before I got the paint job done, but it's already due again. And I can feel the truck a little sluggish because it needs a spark plug. So right now we're gonna run to the store. We're gonna go get some tools and we're gonna get started. I think my truck needed a 5W20. So let's see. So that's five quarts. We're gonna need seven. So it's just one of these and two of these. So we got the oil right now. We gotta ask the guy though about the filter. The, and then let me get the, the filter too. And then I'm gonna need the spark plugs as well. Okay. Y'all carry that Mopar brand? Yeah, but uh, honestly, uh, it's a very small chance I will carry it, man, because Mopar usually you either have to get from Mopar itself or just another. A lot of just gone out of places. Oh, okay. okay. Uh, let me get the year real quick. Uh, 2015. Laramie, big horn, anything special like that? RT. RT. Yeah. I mean, if that's what you want, man, and obviously that's original, that's you can never beat that. You know what I mean? Especially on spark plugs where it's so important. What do you think? You don't think the MGK ones are good? The MGKs are good too, but I usually see that in imports, man. So MGK is good, though. I'll just do the filter and I'll, I'll check on the spark plugs. If not, I'll, I'll get it from you. You can come back and if not MGK, I'll work on the Denso. Denso's pretty good too. Okay, that's cool. So I could check at the dealer or something like that? Yeah, either that or you can check out uh, our competitors. Obviously, there's a chance they might carry it, but I know for a fact we won't. All right, so we got the oil, the engine oil, and then it's just the filter. So I think we're gonna have to go to the dealer to get the spark plugs, but let me search them up. So we couldn't get the spark plugs here, but we got the oil and the filter. Um, I think I'm gonna search them up right now on the internet and see if uh, any store around here has them. If not, we'll probably have to go to the Dodge dealer because they probably have them there in stock. We'll see right now once we get back to the shop. So we just put up to Harbor Freight. We're gonna come get some tools real quick. We had went to AutoZone, but we actually couldn't get the spark plug. They did have eight, but my truck uses 16. So we're gonna order them. I am gonna order them from Mopar. I know that we get back to the shop, but let's go to Harbor Freight real quick to get some tools. I'm gonna just grab the basic tools, like a ratchet, some extension, sockets, just the basics. So I'm gonna just take the basics. I'm gonna get a ratchet too. That way we can use these. This is a half drive, so. I'm gonna take this one and then I believe we're gonna need this one for the spark plug. But right now I'm gonna go look for the one for the filter. I'm gonna keep looking with us. Loki, I was grabbing all the little stuff, but I think we're gonna go with the whole box instead of grabbing everything because for the spark plug, we're gonna need the half drive 3 8 and they don't have it here. So I might as well go with the whole box instead of just tool by tool. But we are gonna need to take this one. But let's get a box. I think one of these will be a better decision because it already has everything in there. It has all the extensions and the sockets to make them from bigger to small. And we're gonna need this one. Then we're gonna take this big box right here that has everything in it. That way we can do the oil change. I hate asking people for their tools, so we'll be good. We have all the basics right here. All the ratchet, socket. So I think we're just gonna take this one. That way we can have everything for the next time we work on the truck. We got the big toolbox. Hopefully it fits in the truck because I can't even use my bed. Heavy. So we just made it back to the shop. We picked up the oil, the toolbox, and the filter. I checked online for the spark plugs and I caught another store and they didn't have any in stock. So I went ahead and just ordered them off Mopar. That way we can go with the OEM spark plugs because I don't want to put any cheap ones in there. Since the spark plugs do make a lot of difference in your truck, you don't want to put any cheap ones in there. I got the oil from AutoZone. I went ahead and went with the Mobile One full synthetic. This truck does take 5W20. I got one of the five quarts and two of the one quarts. Since this truck does take seven quarts. So they didn't have the matching mobile filter, but I went with the KNN performance filter. Uh, the guy recommended me this one. He said it was better than the cheaper one. This one was a little bit more than the regular ones. So I also picked up this Pittsburgh toolkit. That way we can have around the shop for small jobs like this, like a tune-up or an oil change. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the box. That way I can check it out. So here we got a wrench, we got some pliers, basic screwdrivers, then up here, Allen keys. So right here we got all the wrenches, some of the sockets, and I think it has one more under here. Yeah, these are like the bigger tools. 
It's a nice box to have around the shop, you know. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and look for the socket for the oil filter. It is 25, this one right here. We're gonna go ahead and get the ratchet. I don't think we're gonna need an extension for this because it's just the oil filter. This is just for the new filter because I think my other one does have that. My old filter probably does come off with this. This is just an old school uh, filter thing to take them off. I know it looks kind of weird. I never seen one like this either, but they let me borrow it. So we're gonna try our best to keep this box intact. Y'all check out our other toolbox. Been having it since we lived behind that house and AutoZone. We lost most of the tools, but we're gonna try our best to keep that one all together. So I am gonna start lifting up the truck with the jack. Start taking out the whole Right now we're actually gonna grab the tool that we need for the, the actual oil thing, which is a 13 millimeter. So I already emptied out the old oil and I swapped out the filter. Right now I'm gonna just start throwing in the new oil. Man, I'm gonna show you all the oil right now. It was filthy, the old one. It's crazy because I just changed it too not too long ago, about a month, two ago. All right, so I just finished filling it up. Let's pop out the dipstick, check it out. Look at that, clean oil. The other oil was black. Let me throw it in so that way we can show you. But yeah, check out the old oil. Man, this thing is flat. Like, I don't know why I did change it like 5,000 miles ago, but, but this thing is crusty. So it's currently the next day. Yesterday I just finished up the oil change on my truck and I put everything up. This morning I dropped off my truck right here with Aces to do the header. I might be doing a new exhaust, but we're gonna see right now how it sounds. If I don't like how it sounds, we're gonna switch it out. They already got the headers in there. Right now they're gonna be welding on the white pipe. So let's go check it out. Oh, broken? Not broken, but it's calentón. Because over here, you see that gap? Yeah. That's why they make that noise. So El Torrio, it breaks uh -huh. and it gets stuck in the head and it just, it just starts working. Yeah. Oh, that's it. But no, from that to big ass headers. You already have the other one in there, right? Uh, and the guy está. The other side, he's just tightening it up. Oh, okay. So we got the headers in. I went with the JBA headers. I think they were the 178. So they got the headers. Right now they're gonna start doing the white pipe. Magic going from this to that. Yeah, that's a big difference. <laughs> that's crazy. So whenever I hit my truck, I did hit the wheel right here. I don't know if y'all noticed, but it's a little scratch. I just rashed it, but whenever I'm driving, it wobbles a little bit. So I've been thinking of not switching out all the wheels, but just leaving the two front ones, put one from the back in the front, and maybe get a drag pack in the back. But y'all comment down below what ideas y'all have. What should I get? Because I am going to keep the two front, just two in the back. I mean, I'm pretty sure it is fixable. I'm going to take it to a steak test to see what they tell me. It's just a little rash. I mean, I'm just charging up the batteries. Hopefully, it turns off for tomorrow and I'll take it over to the show. You're gonna take it to the show? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so what are you gonna park with? Uh, we'll give the booth for MRL. Sorry, my falta mucho. I'm just taking it like that. But no, it's been in the shop for a while, so now it's time to get back on it. Who did the paint or something? Man, I did it a couple years ago. Me la hizo. Johnny. Johnny? Yeah. Aquí en South Houston, camarada. I wanna do something on my black shirt, but just something small, like just details around it. Well, so I'm gonna redo it. I'm gonna do silver again, but I'm, I haven't decided what what design. But I'll I'll go to Jose. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. Look at the mirrors. I mean, the interior. I never like it. I don't like it. Those are the SS mirrors. Right? Yeah. I have to do the back half on mine to fit bigger lip, so I just want a small lip. Because I ordered blue for mine. I'm the same thing? Yeah, for the negra, but I did, I think, 6 inch or 7 inch. I need to do the whole back half, and I need to do my bed and my frame. So I can fit this. Oh, okay. So I can fit this. Because I have my bags on the outside. I don't have them like these. How come you don't rebuild it, something like that? I want to. I want to do something like that. Esto me lo hizo chasis pad. Chasis pad? Yeah. Yeah, I want something like that. I want my tank on the top because I want to do it purple. Well, I need to do, I need to convert because this is the one that has that compressor inside. But I don't know if you knew, but the, the accurate system that I'm messing up. I heard about so, that. Those myself a lot because yeah. I have everything inside already. Uh, I already have the compressors. I just need to mount them and change it to external. But they still work. Mm -hmm. But I'm just ready just in case. What compressor did you go with? Virus and some black ones. I think they're full. The stealth ones? Yeah, it's ones. Yeah, so they they recommended ones. me those. Yeah, because yeah, it is loud. Loud and the vibration, I mean. Mm -hmm. Until it goes out, we'll see. Yeah, that other gathering does, también. You don't really drive it? Uh -huh. 
Not lately. Well, the back, that one has the bag, but that one went out. That one is ready. I need to put the comp new compressors and the external system. Every time I get out of my driveway, it's great. Ah. I'm too low. So from here, well, basically I'm doing three inch all the way. From there on out, three inch piping. Right now we're gonna see though, I might swap out my actual exhaust. Cause I put this one on a while back, but it's just temporary. We're gonna see how it sounds right now. That's the intake I put. The moment of truth. Let's see how it sounds with the JBA header. Ready? Yes, sir. Got the ram right there. Y'all yeah, come check out my boy Aces. Y'all yeah, can search him up on the map or Safari, whatever. My boy Orlando. All right, bro. I appreciate it. Thank you, Wade. I'll let you know for that exhaust. Let's head back to the shop. That way we can show my brother. See what he thinks. I like how it sounds though, because when it idles, you can't really hear it. But once you step on it, it really screams. Let's get back to the shop and I'll pick it up over there. Let's see how it sounds under the bridge. Look, like watch a moment. all day check out the air freshener i know a lot of people were asking me on instagram about the air freshener it's right here y'all search them up on instagram at la conecta it smells really good Let me know what y'all think about the headers. You can't really hear them that good in camera. Y'all come through the booth at the show. I'm gonna have the truck. If y'all wanna hear it in person, y'all let me know. Sound much better in person. I'm also gonna have my t-shirts out there. I'm gonna have all three designs. If y'all wanna come check them out, I'll have them right there in person. So if y'all haven't heard about it, we're gonna throw out the flyer right here. I believe it is gonna be the 28th through 29th. So y'all come through, come by the booth, swing by and say what's up. I am gonna have the truck and my brother's gonna have his trucks out there. So y'all come by the booth. Like I said, I'm gonna try to repair this side. That wheel is a little bit wobbly, but if we can't repair it, we're gonna have to get a new set of wheels for the truck. So stay tuned for the next video. We got more coming along for the truck, coming along slowly but surely. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.